Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you from Westlake Village, California. And I want to jump into the price action real quick here, make this a bit of a shorter video. Actually going to set my timer here and make sure I don't go too long and jump right into it on the weekly time frame for Bitcoin. You can see volatility is expanding. Momentum is still to the upside as long as Bitcoin's above 29,951. And where do you expect these kind of uh, weekly volatility expansion plays to go? I think it's about 50% off the lows. So where would 50% be? 50% takes you up to about 38. And uh, I would be targeting that not 0.5 at a minimum, especially if we do close this week above 35,300. Would look for uh, another continuation drive to the upside. At the moment, you can see on the daily time frame that uh, we are just consolidating at the range highs. And usually when it does this, uh, you get one more support to the upside. Whoops, don't want to lose that. Bring back my reverse stoke cross. Shows us when momentum will cross to the upside or to the downside. So to cross back up today, and also notice the stochastic getting in the critical zone here. Um, if it does flip back up above 35,000, the line of the sand, 35,516. I think uh, Bitcoin may finish the week strong here. We're going to take a look at a few altcoins here that have been outperforming Bitcoin in their Satoshi pairing. Um, which is actually not, not Ethereum Bitcoin right now. Just pulled back slightly and did not hold our box. So looking for this next pivot to hold somewhere around uh, not 0.5 million Satoshis. And uh, as long as that does happen, I think alts can continue to rally. Um, checking out Ethereum, doing the same thing here. Um, And I wanted to take a weekly look at Ethereum as well, because we do have this potential here. If we can get a weekly closure, I'd say above 1959, why not use 2000 for a round number? Because that is a, uh, a mental number. I'd say a nice, strong resistance level, uh, you know, probably a bit stronger. Yeah, we're already above that high. It, it might be time to go. I'd say, um, you know, we're closer to an Ethereum rally than not. Volatility is just beginning to expand off the lows from the lowest level ever. So that is one of the keys I'm looking at for, um, you know, accumulating some assets right now is the ones that are strong projects that are at the low level of volatility. You can see Solana is still expanding. Uh, rumor has it Solana could outperform Ethereum as the Ethereum killer. Uh, transaction speeds are much faster on Solana and um, needless to say, the gas, the gas fees are cheaper. I uh, wanted to talk about Chainlink real quick here. And uh, again, parabolic blow off target is that 22, 25 zone. Um, from the grand scheme of things, if you look from the ultimate high to the low, on a candle body basis, we still have a lot to go just to get to uh, the 236. And I would expect a minimum bounce up to that level at the 382. Is it going to happen in one day or one week? Well, as um, you can see here, it could. Um, that's what happens when you get volatility low for an extremely long time. And then you get the expansion. So the expansion has pretty much already happened. But the thing is, if this thing just keeps expanding and gets red, violently red like that on the weekly or even the two day, which it is on the two day going for the second, the second rise on the two day looks like um, 1639s in the cards there. 1639. Hmm. Not a bad day for Mr. Link. I guess I'll just keep going down the list as uh, Rune. Another one that uh, 
is approaching some highs, perhaps busting through them, has been outperforming Bitcoin this year. Rune, don't, me, don't ask me what it does, but uh, has skyrocketed 350% over the last, uh, I think it's about 60 days, 60 days from June to November. So call it 73 days, 73 two days, excuse me. So June to November, perhaps it is running out of steam as volatility is declining now, but I would expect overall this year continuations uh, for some of these stronger outperformers than Bitcoin. This one we called out, uh, I don't know if you saw the W formation, um, we called it out at about 100 bucks saying, hey, look, if it breaks 100 bucks, it was fighting around this zone, um, then likely it's going to target 119 if you take out 119 the next pit stop 145 and this highly esteemed internet ai technology i don't know what it does either but um parabolic shot up to 319 would be pretty nice um let's see what it would take coin market cap supposedly this is the latest ai chat gbt coin uh you can you can get it from Mexi. There's a link in the description below. You can only buy it on spot, not on futures, which I think is uh, good for now. Uh, T-A-O. BitTenzer is the name. And you can see it's getting listed on more and more exchanges. It was just on BitGet and Mexi, um, but uh, pretty much up and to the right, the all-time... The all-time high. Oh, yeah, volume. That's what I was looking at. So market cap at 593. Uh, volume over the last 24 hours, only 6 million bucks. So talk about a micro cap. Very, very micro cap. Um, 21 million tokens, though. So if every millionaire wanted to own one, well, he, uh, it, it would run out real quick. I'd say every uh, 10,000 here wanted to own one. All the BitTenzer coins would be gone in a minute. That's what I like about it personally. Um, they can't make more of them, right? Then increase in demand, fix supply, price, price typically goes up from there, and a hot narrative. Anyways, back on to additional cryptos um, that are breaking out, breaking out big time. Another one we talked about this W formation may be coming to fruition here. Um, this is the W and if it is going to hit like the rest of them, you know, targeting move up to 25 cents for this one. Um, as long as we don't take out the wick low here at 1421, um, and we do close the day up today. You know, it's up 10%. Wow. Wow, it's still going. This one moves quick to the upside, quick to the downside as well. I'll remind you. And came in perfect line with that trend line. I don't know if, where that's, that trend line is coming from, but maybe I should look at a higher term time frame and get the gist there. Yeah, four hour. Uh, four hour trend line and does that look like a w to you could we be heading back up short term to tag some of these candles i think so i think big time it might be uh time for big time to have a big time another one that uh sounds potentially interesting uh just received um RDNT, what do they do? So was it Optimism? No, Arbitrum had a huge airdrop and they were the receiver of some free coins to do airdrops for their platform. Needless to say, some liquidity is going to be heading in that direction. Arb, I do like this one for a dip buy, actually. Um, well, that's on the five minute time frame. Let's see where we're at in the grand scheme of things. So a lot of these coins regain the 200 um, exponential moving average. As long as they made a higher low there, it was like lift off party time. Um, so this one can come back down, recover this candle right here all the way down. I'd say as long as we're above 93 cents, that's 
still going to be looking good to me. Um, up in the critical zone, crossing around. So it's a little bit late, but um, I do like the narrative behind this one. Arb token. And yeah, I think we did say the target was uh, just a bit, just actually where we hit. Right at this wick. No, we did not hit the wick. We we did tag the body, though, this little candle right there. So one more push to the upside would not be unheard of. Um, what else is going on with Fetty Wap coin? I have a lot of requests for this one in our live streams. This is an AI token. Uh, consolidating at the top side of the range. We're still in the bullish control zone. So could have another... Uh, Another push higher, same thing as Bitcoin. As it's consolidating, this volatility comes down and then uh, momentum resets. As long as we don't get a nasty, nasty pullback, then it's, you know. But where could a nice higher low come in for this one? You know, probably around 28 cents. And Link BTC, you can see just skyrocketing to the moon. Um, let's look at the U.S. dollar pairing, and then I'll leave you this last one injective, which even on the 15-minute time frame did. It, 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 the, the thing with this one injective seems to consolidate for a long time, and then it pumps, right? So you stuck in a trade for some time. Uh, this other one, Casper, something to keep your eye on. It's been outperforming Bitcoin. Um this is like a, another Ethereum competitor. And then you got this one, WeMix. Wow, what just happened there? WeMix, WeMix. I'm not sure exactly what this one does either, but um, for the month it is, um, or this is a 15 minute time frame. So if we look a little bit on the greater scheme of things, does this look like a W to you? Let's see on the weekly time frame. Yeah, if this one does close anywhere above 256, I'd be looking for new all-time highs on this one. Uh, perhaps the move all the way back uh, up to 449. So that's almost a 4X on that one. Uh, don't ask me what it does. And then lastly, a, a goodie but oldie, Uni. Um, uni, something to keep an eye on, why it is. Pretty much done what Chainlink had done uh, after a, look, May of 22 to uh, October of 23. Long, long consolidation, bouncing off the lows, and most strong altcoins have, yes, tapped that green 55, even shot way over it. Let's see what Elgarand did. Yeah, big, big green pump into the green 55. Oh, Litecoin's the other one. Probably short-term potential. You got a nice W here for this one to really get all the way back up to this level. And that means my time is done. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, make sure you smash the like button and drop me any questions you have in the chat. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored day. Take care.